What's up, everyone? We're back. I'm Dr. Shaw. Dr. Maxfield. Let's talk about our top four moisturizers for the summer and why they're our favorite moisturizers, because I think that that's important. So Dr. Shaw sprung this on me five minutes ago. He said, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to talk about our top moisturizers of the summer. It's like, oh, geez. All right, but I'm prepared. He Am actually prepared? had all the products on his desk at the time that I brought this up. So he was way over prepared. Yes, within arm's reach. So I've got my favorites. Dr. Shaw has his favorites. And I think some of these are older. Some of these are new. Um, but I think they're all wonderful for the summer for the reasons. Oh, wait. We have to talk about podcasts. Okay. The podcasts exists on Spotify. It also exists on Apple. We've been getting a lot of questions in the comments from our videos. Where is the podcast? Why is it no longer on YouTube? We were posting the long form version on YouTube, but it was inundating our feed. And we found the people that liked the you know 10 to 20 minute videos weren't, you know, not everybody was a huge fan. A lot of people loved it. The feedback has been amazing, which is why a lot of people are asking questions about it. But the issue is that we think it really should live on a separate channel where people just go to watch the podcast in long form. So we've moved the podcast to a separate channel, which we will link below the Dr. Lee Unhinged YouTube channel. And you can go watch the entire full length video clip there. Or if you don't want to watch video, you can go watch the audio clips as well. So I guess I can start. I'll start with a new one. Uh, the new one here I've got is the Vichy Mineral 89 but this is not the serum. And that's kind of why I love this. So I have this like love affair with the Mineral 89 serum, uh, HA hyaluronic acid serum. They did come out. And for those of you who are on uh, watching the video now, you can actually see this. Uh, they have two. And one is fragranced, one is fragrance free. I will, as I struggle with an allergic reaction, of course, be using the fragrance free version. But they basically took the content of their serum, created a lightweight cream. It's not a gel cream. I'd say like this is like a lightweight cream, like a true lightweight cream. Um, again, this is the fragrance free version. I'm applying this because I just have like, again, I kind of like to do this. So for you, those of you listening, maybe you can hear this kind of just slurp slowly across my skin. For those it's of you ASMR. watching. Um, I didn't know that they had this product. I thought you, when you said Mineral 89, I thought you were going to talk about Mineral 89, the serum and mm -hmm. huge fan of that high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. I still think it's one of our first YouTube videos ever of a product review. We made this over three years ago now. I still think one of the greatest hyaluronic acid serums of our time. I agree. I do. I do agree. And you know, there's that, the, the, um, Vichy volcano water in it, which, you know, it sounds gimmicky. <laughs> But, you know, it's got data behind it. And I think it does add a layer of fun flair. But again, I think it actually does add some soothing ingredients and properties. But this moisturizer in particular, if you're looking for a summer moisturizer that's not thick, heavy, occlusive, greasy, but you want something that's like nourishing and thick enough to hold up against an irritated skin barrier, that's where I bookmarked this one. This is not like a gel, 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 light cream. It's a cream that's light. So I do love it for that. Okay. Um, I love it as well. So that because I haven't tried it yet <laughs> and you said it's good and I trust you. But I'm still a big fan of the Mineral 89 regular serum, though I will have to have Vichy. I'll have to buy this one from Vichy next. You've convinced me. Okay, so next up, uh, the Biosance, I think we've mentioned this one before, Biosance Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. So this is, as it the name implies, it's a gel. Um, it also has live encapsulated probiotics in it. It also has basobalol, calming and soothing. This is a reformulation of the previous product. And... I loved it then. I have less experience with it now than the older version. I literally used to use it before every video that I did um, on YouTube, on, on, on sorry, on TikTok. Because um, it just gives you that like, it's so lightweight, but it gives you that squalling finish. I absolutely love this product. They have reformulated it. I've been using it now for maybe over a month now. And I, I still love it. Um, it's, it is different though. It's not exactly the same. Um, but it still is, it's still a great product. Yeah, and I will say this about Biosons. The quality is always just off the charts. But as far as lightweight moisturizers, this is like a gel. This is like a chew gel gel cream. It's real lightweight, super soothing, refreshing. It is outstanding. The texture is insane. And I have to say, though, I'm actually kind of, I did a deep dive on the pro pre postbiotic thing. It's actually a pretty big feat and a rarity that they incru included live cultures. Like, because you think about this, how do you create a moisturizer that has live cultures of bacteria and preservatives like that that in and of itself is like kind of a feat how do you create an environment that, that's hospitable to probiotics true live cultures that's really good for your skin the data is absolutely there but you have to balance that formulation with everything else that plays in the product that's tough so kudos to them i think it's an amazing lightweight moisturizer 
your summer foil for sure. I love it. Next one, uh, Skin Fix Barrier Plus Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. I bring this one up because everyone knows I am a huge fan of the Skin Fix Triple Lipid Peptide Cream, but it's not it's not amenable to the summer, I've decided, at least not for my skin. I'm more of a combination skin. If you have dry skin, you could probably use it year round. For me personally, it's too heavy for the summer. Sometimes I'll use it at night if my skin barrier is irritated, but the Triple Lipid Cream is just too, it's too thick. It's too thick, but they have basically the gel summer version of it, and that's their gel cream. And it's just the same sort of finish, like a bit lighter weight, essentially. So if you're somebody who loves the Skin Fix heavier one, you're going to love this one. It comes in like the lighter blue. The other thing is, I will put a link below on this. This is something we're super excited about. We got a bunch of dermatologists together to negotiate discounted pricing for patients in the office, essentially. But we're able to then like translate that to social media through a platform called Air. So if you ever see a link, like a affiliate link or a link below in our in our YouTube videos or anywhere really, where it says Air, that means that the, li the link is automatically discounted to you. We can't say what it's discounted at. That's sort of the deal of the agreement. You have to log in in order to see what the discount is, but it will always be discounted to you. So this product will be discounted in the links. Um, so it will be always discounted to you, anybody who enrolls through air to purchase it. It doesn't cost you anything to enroll, but you get an automatic discount on the product and it will always be an authentic product. So um, something really cool to look forward to. And it's an amazing product. Have you tried this one? No, I have not. So that's 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 now on my list. Again, trust your judgment. I know it's going to be outstanding, uh, but I need that product. I need it now. Yeah, and it also has a lot of clinical studies. Um, Skin Fix always does a lot of clinical studies. Um, they they always have good science behind their products. Always dermatologist um, recommended, formulated, and all that. So, next up, uh, fan favorite, one of my favorites, one of the first moisturizers I ever used, and Dr. Maxfield has it in hand: the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. To be specific, mm -hmm. not the water gel, but the gel cream. Two different mm -hmm. products. Yeah. So this one is. Again, you get the pleasure of watching me apply it. I think actually kind of the pleasure is actually in the packaging. It's, it's just it's like light through, light see-through translucent blue. It's just whew, beautiful. Um, but anyway, you apply this. It's again, it really leans towards the lightweight side. And Dr. Shaw is applying his Skin Fix moisturizer now too. But this product lives in the glycerin hyaluronic acid dimethicone world. Um, it's actually grown on me over a period of time because I, I saw it and I tried the fragrance one first, which was the mistake. I didn't like the fragrance. This is my first experience with this was negative. However, the fragrance free version again of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, outstanding. A texture unworldly, otherworldly, lightweight um, for anyone hot, humid, or with oily skin. This is for you. And it's also pretty budget friendly. Like this is not that expensive compared to some of the other moisturizers. So outstanding. Man, I'm like glowing. I've got layers upon layers of hydration. This is a commercial. You really do. So, and Neutrogena, this product, uh, their gel cream is not available on air yet, but will be available on air soon. So you can get it for a discounted price, but right now you'll have to just pay retail. So that covers our top four moisturizers for the summer. Make sure that you go follow our podcast channel. Make sure you go do that right now. Um, we're going to be dropping a podcast new every week, usually on Wednesdays. That's the goal. Sometimes it'll be Thursday, depending on how, when we shoot and when we edit. But we're really trying to be consistent about posting every Wednesday our new podcast episode. So make sure you go check that out. Make sure you subscribe wherever you listen. And we appreciate and love all of you. Yeah, We appreciate you. Thank you for being on this journey with us.